Researchers believe that they may be able to create artificial black holes in the lab using high-power lasers. The idea of an artificial black hole or one that could be created by humans is therefore somewhat counterintuitive. Nevertheless, there have been proposals for how such objects could be created. What is an artificial black hole? An artificial black hole is a hypothetical compact region of space that has a gravitational field so strong that nothing, not even electromagnetic radiation, can escape from it. The idea was first proposed by John Archibald Wheeler in 1967 as a way to explain certain features of quasars, and later developed further by Stephen Hawking. In recent years, there has been increasing interest in the possibility of creating artificial black holes in laboratories. Is it possible to create an artificial black hole? Yes, it is possible to create an artificial black hole. This was demonstrated by a physicist in Israel, who created a lab-grown analog black hole using some thousand atoms. This Fox black hole exhibited all properties of a black hole in the state in which it is believed to exist in space. How to create an artificial black hole? One way to create an artificial black hole would be with a particle accelerator, such as the Large Hadron Collider. By colliding particles together at extremely high energies, it might be possible to create a tiny black hole. However, this would likely be very unstable and would quickly evaporate due to Hawking radiation. The key to creating an artificial black hole is to generate a gravitational field that is powerful enough to trap light. This can be done by firing two laser beams at each other with extremely high precision. The resulting collision creates a brief burst of energy that forms a miniaturized black hole. While this black hole only lasts for a fraction of a second, it may still provide insight into the natural of real black holes and how they are formed in space. And the proposal involves using a laser beam to collapse matter into a small point, known as an optical black hole. This has been demonstrated in the laboratory with small amounts of matter. However, it is not clear if this could work on the scale necessary to create an artificial black hole large enough to be useful for any applications. Another way would be to use exotic matter such as negative mass particles to create an artificial black hole. It is also worth noting that both of these methods involve creating conditions similar to those found near the event horizon of a natural black hole. Thus, they may carry some inherent risks. What are the applications of artificial black holes? While scientists are still working out all the details, there are many potential applications for artificial black holes. For example, they could be used as highly sensitive detectors of gravitational waves or as probes of quantum gravity effects near the event horizon. Event horizon is the point beyond which nothing can escape from a real black hole. There are several reasons why creating an artificial black hole might be desirable. One is that they could be used to generate energy. By falling into an artificial black hole, matter would be compressed to extremely high densities and release huge amounts of energy. This could potentially be harnessed as a power source. Another reason is that black holes are interesting objects in their own right, and studying them could help us to understand more about the nature of gravity and the universe as a whole. With further research and development, artificial black holes could become important tools for studying some of the most mysterious objects in our massive universe. What if we were able to create our own black hole? What would be some potential dangers? One major concern would be anything could get trapped inside forever, including things like energy or information. Another worry would be if two black holes were created close enough together, they could potentially merge back into one larger black hole or cause some other unforeseen chain reactions leading to who knows where. 
And lastly, there is always the possibility that something could go wrong during creation, dooming everyone and everything involved. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions related to this video, make sure to leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.